guys and welcome to a new doll box opening and review video today i have with me the brand new lycée so this lycée is actually the happy new year lycée uh, there is two happy new year lycées so this one is the one from uh, january 1st uh, how it works generally at Alison you have the J January 1st doll so you have to go there in the morning queue and actually grab the doll uh, and they always have this um, yukata style and the apron like made and stuff and then at the doll show they sell the second one except that this year the doll show is in March which is really really far from the new year so Alison actually had an event on the 15th of January and uh, as that event they actually sell this one the one with the bun on her on the head and i couldn't go there so i didn't get uh, her twin sisters so i only have the one lycée happy new year this time around and i'm kind of happy with the one i got because she's the one with a rounded mouth and the little uh teeth coming out so i think she's really cute I think she was worth getting up in the morning for. Uh, that day was really, really crowded, and I've never seen that many people at Azon. I think they are making way more uh, customers than ever before. I don't know what the reason. Maybe that's because they are selling like they're getting so many uh, dolls out, and they have so many series. But anyway, there was a lot of people there, and they actually sell um, also. Uh, lucky bags and they also actually sell as uh, um, Happy New Year Lil Fairy at the same time so when I reach the top of the building uh, in the queue because you have to queue in this awful stairs which is actually the security stairs which is outdoor so it's, it was freezing it was windy and I'm afraid of it so it's kind of the ordeal to go there for me and when I finally reached the top, they only had dolls left, the lucky bags were all gone, so no lucky bags for me. But I still managed to get the doll. So anyway, I'm going to open her for you and show her to you from close up. So here is Lise. So as you can see, it's a Yukata. It says Happy New Year 2019. It's a Lise on the box, Sora Salamot. So this is a Lise version uh, for the Happy New Year. So let's open her. Uh, you can see the other version here on the box uh, as well. So with a full outfit and here you have both. And here you have the current version here. So let's open her and see what's going on in the box. So first let's have a look at the background. Uh, you can see it's a simple background and it has this sort of chessboard in white and pinkish. And normally uh, she comes with a card. Uh, this is not a book, normally it's a card, yes. So you have the postcard of Lise here with both Lise on one side and this version on the other side. So nothing much to see here. Uh, Happy New Year doll never come with a book, they always come with a postcard. Then, as usual, we're going to check out everything at the back. So, uh, we have those crazy shoes. Uh, those you can actually put on. Uh, it looks like traditional Japanese shoes, but it's not because it, it's, well, if you wear the socks, because you can actually wear the socks inside those shoes. So it's basically the socks and the shoes on top. And you can actually slide the feet of the doll inside. But you have to uh, warm everything up first. So you use hot water to be able to make them uh, softer and so you can slide the feet normally. Uh, I'm not going to say 100% because sometimes the tour here of the um, uh, ankle is not wide enough to pass the entire feet. But normally it should work if you use the water. On the feet and on the shoes. 
and then you have to let them dry properly so then she comes with extra pair of hands so you have I'm going to open them because like all the Azan doll come with hands like that with this bent wrist which I'm not actually fan I think it's not looking very uh, natural so I like to have the other hands on so this one come with like normal hands which is like this sort of position which is kind of better looking I guess so this is this uh, one and she also come with sort of half grip hands probably because she has a bag so she needs to carry her bag so I'm going to get all of the hands out and I'm probably going to mix them up when I put them on the doll later on also if you can't put on the hands if you have trouble putting on the hand use hot water to soften them and then they will fit like a glove anyway so she comes with the bag so the bag is the same type of fabric as a yukata you have it looks like cherry blossoms on top of a, a white and blue chessboard and it has a silver little strand here so you can open the bags if you want and cute cherry blossoms you have also of course as usual the app prong and the air accessory for the maid so, um, it's uh, the same piece they, they make the, those apron very often and those um, hair accessory very often and it always has this red ribbon and little bows and it's made of plastic so and now the apron of course with little decoration it's a very simple apron but it looks cute so. and it has this big bow at the back and it's a bit fluffy on, on the top and it has those cute little bows at the front okay guys now that we have taken care of everything at the back we can finally free the doll see the plastic here on top is so weird she has her feet out in the upper already so I don't know maybe they run out of plastic and they still wanted to <laughs> finish the box it just looks so strange anyway so let's open her and get her out and here is Lise whoops so uh, Lise with some taking away the plastic around her hair and the yukata is like folded behind her so big big sleeves And it's very, very pretty. I think that's a very, very pretty yukata she's having uh, this time around. It's not maybe as fancy as last year. Last year was a shiny red. But I think it's kind of cute. So, uh, let me put on her apron and her things. And then I'm going to show her to you from close up. So guys, here is our little Happy New Year Lise. So as you can see, uh, she has this uh, kind of new mouse that the Azan doll came uh, with recently. So the rounded mouse with the teeth coming out. But anyway, let's start the review uh, first at the top. So she has this air accessory, which is basically part of the maid, uh, part of her outfit. So you have this uh, plastic um, part, which is covered with white fabric and then covered with this um, red ribbon and less part and it has little bows on each side then she has short brown hair just a square cut let me zoom a little bit better on her so she has nice uh, purplish blue eyes and you can see what I was talking about the mouse uh, with a little teeth pointing out on the left side so I think that's the brand new they started recently uh, to make those mouths. And then of course she comes with the apron, 
because she's a maid. So you have this big white apron and it has stuff at the shoulder. You have the little bow, a little knot, like Chinese knot sort of thing at the front. You have one of each side. The, uh, it's crossed at the back and then you have a bow at the front and it's like lots of clip buttons so you attach those with clip buttons on each side and you have clip button to take off the apron and of course it's long at the front and cover uh, her until her knees basically so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off so that you will be able to see the yukata underneath a lot better so as you can see I remove all the clip buttons then uncross and the apron come off very very easily so uh, I put on her different hands so she actually is carrying a bag so this is a typical bag that you carry with your yukata it's kind of the same color of the yukata it just go together pretty well and it has a silver thread like I said earlier then of course she is wearing the yukata so as you can see uh, also here on this side I put a different hand the yukata is all white and blue with those large blossom on it so it's happy new year but she looks more like she is ready for the cherry blossom to come out and she has actually uh, the crossed thing here like the decoration underneath to color in the yukata is actually golden and then she is also wearing this obi, it's all pink, it has the decoration here at the top in green and the same sort of little silvery thread that was used on the back. So it's the same color, it just goes well together with a knot at the front. And of course she has her big bow uh, at the back. The bow is actually attached with a clip button so you can remove it if you want to. And basically that's it for our outfit. I haven't put on the shoes in, but she has those shoes with actually pink thread. So it's like shoes with socks. So normally you can uh, put it on if you actually warm it up to make sure that the heel is going to pass through. Uh, it looks like it should work, but anyway I haven't put them on um, already. So, I guess that's it for this doll. I think she's she's super cute. I, I like the fact that the uh, ribbon here are the same size, same length as her hair. Because it looks just kind of stylish, I think. So I think this piece goes well together. I like, of course, the, the yukata and the big, big sleeves that they come with every single time. And it's pretty nice. So, yeah. Anyway guys, that's it for this doll. Um, so the other doll, the New York doll, has actually the bun. So traditional Japanese uh, hairstyle for yukata is like having your hair attached in a bun at the back. But this one doesn't. So anyway, I think this one is really cute. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this doll. Who is your favorite Happy New Year doll? Do you like this one? Or do you prefer our counterpart who is a little bit more traditional in the mouth and in the uh, hairstyle? And which year is your favorite um, Happy New Year? Because Azon has been having this Happy New Year duo of the Sarah Salamot series for many years now. I think since 2013 if I'm not mistaken. So they have quite a bit of those dolls. So let me know which one was your favorite year and why. Uh, is it a yukata or is it because of the character? Because every time they have a different character. So this time is Lise, before was Yuzuha and Maya and so on. So uh, let me know everything you think about in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumb up if you have liked this video. And see you next time for something else. Have fun whatever you do. Bye!